Personal District 4. And I'm District 5. All units responding. Callers advising there is a fire in Press Hall. It's going to be a key story commercial structure. Both planes and the boat are in the I've got smoke still. I'm going to be better working fire to start. I'm going to try to give everybody a little crash course with target solutions. You bring up Google, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, whatever you want to use, and you type in target solutions.com slash moncure. That brings you right to this page. So then you go through your login information. And that brings you to the home page of, of Target Solutions here. Now, mine says officer, yours may say firefighter, or yours may say driver. So if you want to know how many hours that you have currently, you click on whatever yours says. I'm going to click on officer. So right here, you can see that I have 37% of my total hours that I need for the year. So down here it breaks it down what you need. So I, I need 12 hours of driver training, 18 hours of facility training, 6 hours of hazmat training, 12 hours of officer training, and then 192 of company training. Over here you can see your status bars. So I have all of my driver training. I have zero facility training, all hazmat, all officer, and 31% of company training. So these you can see, you know, and you have 12 hours of 12 required for driver. Now, just because I've done all of my driver training for the year, that doesn't mean that. I don't have to do any more or it doesn't matter if I do any more it still counts because I've done more driver training than 12 hours so it says 15 of those hours have dropped into company training if you're an officer and you want to well I'll cover that in a minute so that's a good way that you can look, check your status on where you're at with your training for the year. If you want to know exactly how many hours that you have, you come right up here to the printer button and you can click that. And you don't worry about this unless you want to print it out. Right here it shows you exactly how many hours that you have. It also shows you classes or training that you have done throughout the year. So you can see here, this is the same thing, 12 hours, 6 hours, 12 hours, and then I have 60 hours of 192. This is what's applied, this is what's needed. So I need 132 hours to fully complete my company training. I need 18 hours to fully complete my facility training. So I'm going to get out of this. Again, that's right here, the printer button. Don't worry about that. Say I was short an hour on officer training. If I just wanted to do a quick hour of officer training, I could click this drop down right here. And it'll bring up all these, all these classes or you know, things that we log are classified as officer training. Now, if you want to do just a quick hour and say you're doing it at home, 
you know, say I wanted to do a quick hour of a uh, fire investigation. I could click this right here, as long as it's got a little book beside it. I could click that and start a course on fire investigation that would be worth one hour of training. Same thing with all, you know, all these are, are like that. And that goes for uh, hazmat. If you're short on hazmat training, here's a first responder operations level refresher that's worth two hours. These right here are more for us if we're logging the training. Because you can just click that and just it says user defined hours. So that's more along the lines if we're doing it here at the station one night for training and we do three hours of it. We would log it as right here and then log the defined hours. A few other cool things about Target Solutions. We have this thing called the File Center. Well, okay, the File Center has, we have a bunch of stuff up here. Uh, we can, you can go to Forms, and we have a bunch of forms that are in here. So right here, Training Roster. If you're going to take a class somewhere, you know, a uh, different fire department or something and you want to print off a training roster to take with you so that you know we can log it a little bit easier you can click right here and it, it'll download the training roster for you and there's the training roster and then you can just print that out take it to whatever class you're you're going to take and then you, you can bring it back here and we can log it for you No, we're trying to have all of our most of our forms up here. Uh, let's see. Let's go back. You can check out all of our SOGs. These are our administration SOGs. Say you got a question about structure fire. There's your structure fire SOG. Same thing. If you click on it, it'll down. It'll bring up a, a PDF, or you can download it. But here is your SOG for structure fire. And you know that also. If you let us know that you read some of these just as a refresher, that's training. It depends on which ones you read. But if you spend an hour reading SOGs on here then that's another easy way to get some training. So that's just a little crash course. Uh, there's, there's plenty of things. You can also go to community resources. I, I haven't really messed around with this too much, but there's little videos on here that you can you watch. You can attach a Pressix to the haul line using a three wrap technique. Tighten the loop so the knot is out. There's all kind of, and there's all kinds of little things that you can watch on here. If you have any assignments, they're going to pop up right here as well. I don't have any outstanding assignments right now. Uh, we're going to start since they've started bringing back the colleges. We're going to start putting these in this area if they're doing, you know, the fire rescue colleges or if there's training at a neighboring department that you want to go to we'll try to put it up right here uh, we're going to start making the YouTube videos again uh, we try to keep this training calendar up to date it's a little it's a little out of date right now because we just did that last night You can also look at your EMT stuff. Uh, this is going to be changed too because uh, they've changed up everything again. So that's on my list of things. But you can see how many hours that you have as far as EMT goes. I have 68% before my research date of October 31st, 2023.
So I'm almost there. So that's just a little uh, crash course in target solutions. If you have any other questions, please let me know. You know my email and my phone number and everything. So thank you. Uh, Y'all have a good day.